angry guy here and black men are celebrating the arrest of Brick Lady. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications and never miss another video ever again. Now, let's begin. Black men are celebrating the arrest of Brick Lady. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Scammer who almost got away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids recently turned herself in. Let's just get straight down up into her mugshot photo. Oh! Sorry, this isn't the mugshot photo. This is actually her holding a Christian Dior bag. It's crazy to me to think that you guys were donating to this scammer. Meanwhile, she's utilizing her money <laughs> to visually, materialistically upgrade her life. There goes the correct photo. Look at her. All in her scammerness. What I found immediately interesting about this picture is that I never realized through all of the content that I did about her that she has a face tattoo. And I hate to judge a book by its cover, but I don't think I've ever met any PhD student that has a face tattoo. I think I've seen the neck tattoo, but not the face tattoo. Also, you can obviously tell she's been under a degree of stress because you'll notice all of the glue that still adorns her head, apparently too stressed out to wash it off before she took this lovely mugshot photo. But hey, dusty edges and scammer go hand in hand. Nevertheless, let's go over her court documents. So these documents were filed January 23rd at 11.30 a.m. where she turned herself into authorities. She'll be arraigned on March 5th, 2024 at 9 a.m. So whether or not she shows up for her arraignment, make sure that you stay locked into the channel because I definitely will talk about that once the public documentation is released. And what does the state of Texas charge her with? Well, it's theft for $30,000 to $150,000, which is a fourth degree felony. How bad is a class four felony and what does it mean in court? Well, at the end of the day, a class four felony is considered a felony and thus charges can result in serious legal consequences if the defendant gets convicted. Although sentencing guidelines will vary by state, the majority of class four felony convictions will result in a prison sentence of approximately one to three years. Also including fines of up to $10,000 or more depending upon the jurisdiction. And those charges I believe are fair. I was thinking this is either gonna be a high degree misdemeanor or a very low level felony. Generally felonies have some sort of violence associated with them or the money associated is large in nature and $40,000 that she scammed go fund me as well as everyone who donated to that platform with I think is prime for a low class felony charge. You also see here that she filed for bond and made the amount of $10,000 so she's out on bond so that means she'll be out here on these streets up until the 5th of March where she'll have to actually her lawyer will have to answer for these charges. And for all of this, I say good. She's an absolute menace to society. We've proven this time and time again of a multitude of videos of her acting like an asshole in public. This is the woman that y'all donated money to? You are stupid. I'll do whatever I want, ma'am. I don't know where, you, where you're from. I am in America. I can speak to whoever I want. I don't have to calm down. I don't have to calm down. When people are being racist to me, I will not be calm. I don't have to respond to racism with calmness. I do not have to respond to racism with calmness. No, I am upset. I am offended. And I think you're very unprofessional. Okay. And I can speak to whoever I want. I'm Don't you talking. ever tell me so or another you, customer who you can talk to. I am not yelling. Yes, you are. Well, guess what? I will yell. I'm and I can yell. Be, is, yelling, is yelling a crime? So she's going to call the police on me for yelling? The call the police. I didn't do anything You're wrong. You're refusing to leave the property. I'm not refusing Check to leave the property. Well, I'm making a verbal complaint. No and I'm problem. showing America no how problem. racist you are. No problem. Do not tell me or another black person who to talk to. Ever again. I'm not telling you, but when you you're just yelling, told me when you're my, yelling at my associate, I Ma'am, right. you yelled at me. You called me a bitch. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, not. you did. And you can tell that she's no, a liar. And you can tell that she's Who put a baby in this crazy woman? But you'll notice all of the people that chose to ride for her have all been silenced. And that is as of the lead prosecutor saying, Hey, we got video evidence of her being the aggressor and the man retaliated she was actually taunting the guy to hit her 
why would I go defend somebody that's actually looking for trouble? She told the detective that responded that she was hit in the head with a brick after she refused to give her phone number to a guy on the street. And was that verified by any of the evidence that detectives looked at? No. That was not verified. Harris County Prosecutor Keith Houston says surveillance videos from that early September morning show Osman hitting a man first. So she's the one who, the, she was the aggressor? She was the aggressor, yes. And it was a water bottle that hit her, not a brick? He did have a water bottle in his hand, and we think that's what left the mark. Way too often we have so many examples and so many situations of men being sent completely to the gallows off of uncorroborated stories and or events. Gentlemen, listen to me. I've told you this time and time, and I will continue to tell you into the future. In the court of public opinion, you are guilty until proven innocent, especially if the accusations are in the vein of S assault, especially if the accusations are in the vein of just assault, period, against and unto women. This was a well thought of plan. A diabolical plan. Olin Douglas is a father, son, and small business owner. But in September, allegations made by 33-year-old Rhoda Osman nearly put it all at risk. It caused people who I thought really knew me to kind of betray me. Douglas says he met her at a club near the Galleria as she wore a mask that only revealed her eyes. He invited her to an after party. It's as if she was trying to get in some type of conflict but says she was aggressive and very intoxicated. They ended up in a car with friends. She physically didn't start touching me until I asked her to leave. So you gotta get out. Outside the car, Houston police say surveillance video then showed Osman slapping him in the face before he hit her back with what appears to be a plastic water bottle in hand. You should never hit a woman in general, but I didn't want to hit her actually. It was like, she hit me and I just reacted. According to court documents, the footage didn't match what Osman told police, that a male Uber driver threw a brick at her and tried to kidnap You know, guys, this is, my, this is beyond insanity when we're looking at these, these individuals. So black men are definitely ce celebrating this woman's downfall. They're celebrating her arrest. And it's no surprise that they are... They're literally thankful that this woman is now off the street. Well, she's back in the streets, but at least she's been at least she's been charged formally. She turned herself in and she'll have to be back in court in March. Some of you may not believe that they'll she'll actually go to jail for any of the things she's done. Hey, maybe you're right, but this is this is a serious incident. You know, this is this is not a this is not the most basic of basic felonies. She's being charged for stealing, you know, like $40,000. So this is this is serious, and this is her not her first time. She has a history of doing these things, a history of doing things. When you look at this black dude that she did this to, this is one. This is this is not a thug. This is just a normal looking good dude, and it's absolutely sad what's happening. I've already said it that the black community is dying or it's dead, and it's and women are the one. Black women are the ones who are responsible or responsible for for killing it. You know, because this is this is just beyond insanity. Look at what's happening to these poor men. And she literally has gone after so many men, so many. There are videos of her of her, uh, you know, putting her hands on white men, just walking around, putting her hands on white men, which is assault. But, you know, she's done such horrible things to black men. And then, you know, all these black women who are supporting her, who are saying that, oh, she's right. And black men are this and black men are that. Where where are these women? Like, seriously? Where are these women? They are nowhere to be seen. They are completely, they are, they, they, they are gone. They are absolutely gone. They're not talking. You know, they're, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. All these women that attacked, there were so many women on TikTok, on all these platforms who attacked black men, who said terrible things about black men. Not one of them are making a video discussing the fact that this woman has been arrested. Not one of these women are making a video discussing how these women, these men were taken advantage of and how these men you know how these men have been lied upon Not, they will never come out and admit to what they've done if anything they're only doubling down more it's it's absolutely sickening absolutely sickening and it's like and then you wonder why these men are walking away from western society literally fleeing the country then you know what we're not going to put up with it anymore we're done with this nonsense we are leaving we're done goodbye 
deuces, we are out. It's no surprise. Because after what has happened to these men, after what these women have done to these men, it is no surprise that these men are rinse, are rejecting and replacing. All right? This entire community, that entire community is going to be replaced. These women that are in Western society, their future is 10 city. Their future is 100% 10 city. Let's make that extremely clear. There's no great future for these women. If their future is 10 city. They, are, they belong to the state. They made, you know, that's, the, that's their daddy. They made a decision that they were going to align themselves with the state. There's no coming back for these women and saying that, oh, you know, black men need to come and... Re- black, they, they can say whatever the heck they want. Black men aren't coming to rescue them. The only people that they have are Tyrone, Ray Ray, Puki, and, and of course, Little Poncho. And Little Poncho is not about that, you know? Little Poncho, he'll clap those cheeks, but he's not taking care of, no, he's not taking care of any kids. And he's not coming to rescue them, you know? He's, I mean, you know, anything goes wrong. Little Poncho is right back across the border. He was, he's done it plenty of time. He'll just zip right back across the border into Mexico, and that's it. Okay, and he'll wait for the he'll wait for the coast to be clear, and then he'll come back. That's that's how Little Poncho works. They don't have anyone. These women do not have anyone to back them up. You know, they have no one to say. There's no one coming to rescue them. And because I mean, these you know, when you look at what these these women have done have absolutely done to the black community, what they have done to black men. Not one of these black women who made these videos online accusing these black black men of things, not a single one of them has come out and said, you know what, we were wrong. We said, we're sorry. We messed up, you know, not, none of them. And then it, it's, so it's no, it is no wonder that these black men are celebrating the downfall of this scammer. You know, it's so much bad. So much bad has happened to these men. You know, I mean, the, it's just insane. It is just insane when you look at this. And you know what? I don't feel, I, honestly, I really wish she would get the full four years. She did her own investigation and was told that Douglas was the one who assaulted her. She's now charged with theft because prosecutors say she made it up and tried to profit from this GoFundMe that raised more than $42,000. It's been a divide between, you know, black men, black women, and, and it's been, it's, 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 it's really evil what she did. If police didn't have this surveillance video, this evidence that basically clears you, what kind of situation do you think you would be in? I would be that guy that hit a girl with a brick. I'm black. I'm surprised I didn't get arrested in 30 seconds from this going out. Douglas says he's received death threats from complete strangers. She's just manipulating people using their pain. And that is should be the true crime here. Look how soft this dude is. Look how this dude is a soft spoken dude. You can tell his parents raised him right. And this is what he's going through. Imagine this soft dude being put in prison over this nonsense. This, bro, this dude probably has never been arrested a day in his life. Never arrested, finished college, has a good job, and this is what he's going through? And then you wonder why. Guys, white guys figured this out a long time ago. Think about this very carefully. In America, 25% of all marriages among white men is, with, is to an Asian woman. 25%. Some of y'all might, will say, might say, well, I guess just white guys like the Asian women. But there's something strange about it. Because Asian women only make up 8.2% of the marriageable population in the United States. They are, abs- they are beyond overrepresented among marriages among white men. In fact, they are so overrepresented that it may suggest that there's just, well, hands down, there are not enough Asian women in America for white men to marry it's 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 insanity it's absolutely insanity and now you wonder why black guys are going overseas and finding themselves a filipina or or a woman from japan or another foreign woman because they're not put they're done with this nonsense they are absolutely done with this nonsense guys if you're enjoying this content help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video and turning on notifications and never miss another video ever again.
black men are celebrating the arrest of Brick Lady. What do you guys think regarding this? I want to know your thoughts. So let's hear them in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away. And cheers.